this recipe is chocolate donuts ingredients for the recipe are given below in the description box please check it out take a bowl and add 1 cup of all purpose flour then 1 and a half tablespoons of sugar 1 and a half tablespoons of butter unsalted butter 1 teaspoon of active dry yeast 1 by 4 teaspoon of salt 1 and a half tablespoons of milk powder 1 whole egg out of this I'm using half of the mixture then 1 fourth cup of milk mix all together properly here I'm using milk in small portions if you are using all at a time the consistency may not be right so I'm adding gradually as a whole I have used here 1 fourth cup of milk and a 1 tablespoon extra mix the dough thoroughly see that the dough forms the elasticity the gluten in the dough helps to puff the donuts very nicely this is the consistency of the dough oil the bowl and place the dough ball in, inside it and give it a rest for around 1 hour or more than 1 hour tuck the dough inside and give it a rest it's been more than an hour again I'm kneading it for around 2-3 to three minutes roughly actually I'm not comfortable with the chakla and balan so I'll be using all the time back side of the plate See, this is the consistency we needed. Tuck the dough and make a ball. Here I am sprinkling some dry flour onto the plate and even onto the balan. Spread it around. See that the thickness of the see that the thickness is around half centimeter to one centimeter. It must not be very thin or else our donuts may not puff up. Here I am using the lid of a box. And I am cutting as a circle. One more. This gives us a donut shape. I have oiled the baking tray. If you can afford then you can buy a donut cutter if not we can just simply carry on with the small lids of a boxes our donuts are ready now I am placing all these donuts onto that oiled uh, baking tray and they need to be rested for around 10 to 15 minutes roughly thereafter will fry the oil must not be very hot it must be medium hot slowly they are coming up this means the oil is in medium heat we will be frying the donuts in the medium heat itself till the end of the process When we get the golden color, we'll take it onto the plate. They puffed up very nicely. This is the color we wanted. A 
and now we will take onto a plate lined with the tissue paper if there is any excess oil tissue paper will absorb the excess oil similarly i followed with the rest of the donuts these are the donuts after frying in oil so i am going to decorate them with the dark chocolate and white chocolate and there are some chocolate sprinklers and a sugar powder first i am dipping it in the white chocolate i have melted the just two uh, blocks of white chocolates and i just dipped into it and placed it around similarly i followed with all the donuts now i am dipping in the dark chocolate compared to white chocolate dot dark chocolate is very easy to work white chocolate gets harder very easily whereas dark chocolate it will be in the room temperature for some time and now i am sprinkling some chocolate uh, crisps on the white donuts and sugar powder onto the dark chocolate kids will enjoy this yummy donuts please do try this recipe and now we'll arrange these are the donuts they are ready to be served we have used only 1 and 1/2 tablespoons of sugar and i feel that is not too much it's good to go